tell us more, Chris. What playbook are we using? It sounds like um, investigating mobsters back in the day in terms of their investigation techniques. Yeah, well, what we try to do with the story is just uh, step back a little bit and say, what do we know about Robert Mueller's investigation so far? There's so much that we don't know, but what you can do is you can begin to see uh, certain activity when he has to reach out and seek documents or, or, or seek witnesses or even do a raid like, he, like they did on uh, Paul Manafort's home. And so when you look at the tactics that are being used, they are the building blocks of, a, of what uh, are techniques that have been used for, for years uh, to go after mobsters and to build, uh, you know, complex financial uh, investigations. And so he's following the money, starting small, trying to find people who will flip and um, mapping out who's who and who did what. Define flip. So you're, you're basically, they're basically looking for tax evaders, people committing conspiracy that might then flip in your terms, actually provide evidence for, for higher up issues, bigger issues. Correct. Uh, Mueller's mandate is to investigate whether Trump or anybody, any of his associates, colluded with Russia to interfere in the election. The collusion issue is a is a um, complex matter in terms of like how do you find out whether whether there was actually collusion, and so Mueller, in the, at least in the early stages, he's only been he's been investigating now for about three months, um, has seized on what are more traditional type of criminal activities, tax evasion, money laundering, bribery, obstruction of justice. And by doing that, he's able to, to try to put pressure on, on the subjects of the investigation in order to give up information uh, about what was happening inside the Trump campaign or during the transition or even like when Trump, uh, you know, the early uh, days of, of Trump's administration I, in terms of what they know. I just feel like there's so, so many gray lines here. I mean, we were told time and time again, and I've got the quote here, any matters that arose or may arise from the investigation, that was kind of the parameters, a.k.a. you can drive a bus through it in terms of what Robert Mueller can investigate. But what are the red lines here for Donald Trump? At which point do Donald Trump's lawyers go, hang on a second, this does not comply with the rules of the road here as far as where this investigation can go? What they've told me is that when, if Mueller begins to look at uh, Trump's tax records or if they begin to look at the history of Trump's uh, t uh, financial dealings or, or those of his family members, that's going to cross a red line. But by all accounts, Mueller has blown through that line already. 